next song, which I believe is Blackbird. <laughs> she's covering blackbird by the beatles mm. Mm. this is really weird in a lot of ways it's gonna make me very emotional i actually you know i'm finishing my book and one of the chapters is called blackbird and it's in honor of a friend of mine a friend of mine who died and her like teenager sang the song at her funeral and this was her favorite song this is her favorite song and we talked so much before she died and I would ask her all the time I mean she didn't believe in life after death and I kind of do and so I would say you know nobody really knows what happens so can you just humor me if you could show a sign to to me to your kids what would the sign be what would what would it be and she said, I guess a blackbird. And because she loves the song so much. I also talked to her a lot about before she died, like where she wanted to die. And she was saying that she wanted to, she wanted to die in Florida. She would love to die out on the sand where it's warm. I found out, you know, shortly before the holidays that she had passed away. And she passed away um, in her home in a very peaceful way with her family all around her. And I decided I wanted to honor her. So I went down to Florida to an area that I know that she loved and sat out there and talked to her and wrote her name in the sand and uh, the water washed. The water washed her name away. And then I got up and I walked back to the hotel and there was like a uh, swimming pool and there were all of these chairs around it and you could sit down and order food or whatever. And I, I didn't know what to do. So I, I just didn't, I felt so out of it that I just, I sat down and I um, uh, saw my, my ex at the bar. <laughs> but anyways, uh, he came walking over to me and sat and this huge blackbird, raven something, I don't know, but it, there weren't, there were seagulls. And then suddenly there was this massive, but beautiful blackbird that with the shiniest feathers and it landed right beside me. And I looked at it and I just, <laughs> I was like, this is too much. This is too much. And, um, and I, I feel like it was her, maybe it was signs, signed to me and so blackbird has always been the song really is is hard for me to hear and i think it's really powerful also that beyonce is doing blackbird because i know because i am i am a very big beatles fan my dad is a very big beatles fan and so i know a lot about it and i know that paul mccartney wrote this i think a few weeks after the death of martin luther king and I know that it was also connected. The song is about the um, Little Rock Nine. So I know that whenever, what was it, Board versus Brown, I believe, when they were, you know, passing the law that schools couldn't be segregated anymore. So there was in Little Rock, Arkansas, nine black students that were going to go into, I mean, that went to school uh, into the all white school. And, you know, the National Guard had to be called in. It was very risky. And these nine students were so brave to be able to take this step and to go to a place that they deserved. And I remember looking up the story when I had heard about it from my dad, I believe, or reading it and also seeing the pictures, people that were protesting and were so awful. And so many women that um, look like me and we're harassing them and uh it's really disturbing and that was just back in i mean i think the late 50s i mean i know martin luther king that was more in the 60s but i mean that is not that long ago you know when you think about time <laughs> you know like just that 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 was that wasn't that long ago our country was that divided so the fact that beyonce is doing this it really um i'm feeling very emotional so so let me just do it. Let me just listen to it. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only 
waiting for this moment to arise. Be waiting for this moment to arise. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see. To see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird. thinking about the symbolism of those you know students walking into school and like just the second eyes and like how hard how hard that must have been to like have the courage to to be the first students to try to 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 go to an all-white school and 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 to to stop segregation uh within the schools and because it's one thing for something to be passed, but it's another to actually enforce it and, and make that change. And, and like waiting for this moment to arrive, but like how it's like, it, it's in the darkness and ah, it's just so beautiful. The song itself, but just what she did to it, it was gorgeous. Um, yeah. 